Hi friends, today I'm going to cover cloud security related topics. As part of the part one, I'm going to take it up Azure platform as a service based security. Eventually, I will cover other security aspects of the cloud both on Azure and AWS. Before we dive into our today's topic, I would like to give you a quick uh, overview of my channel. Here you can see the various Azure real-time scenarios, AWS real-time scenarios, interview questions, all based on the real times, and even play a lot of terminology which we use in the real time is also covered under the various playlists. You can just have a look; it's worth to go through what are the real time to understand what are the real time issues and uh, real time scenarios. So let us jump into our today's topic, that is Azure Platform as a Service based Security. So I'm not going to cover why security is important or what kind of threats uh, there are exist in the world. I'm not going to touch that. So if you are expecting that kind of topic, you are going to be disappointed if you go through my video. So why is cloud security? So as you know, we are actually using the different type of models on the cloud. Uh, if you have little knowledge about the cloud, you must be using private cloud, public cloud, hybrid cloud. Within the hybrid cloud, it could be your uh, data center plus uh, the cloud center. And then you have to establish a lot of connections between them. And when you are going to the public, you have to uh, expose your endpoints in the form of HTTP or TCPs, IPs. So there are plenty of uh, things you are exposing and you are creating a lot of things like, you know, accounts. You are creating uh, the resources, resource groups. And within the resource groups, you're uh, creating a lot of VNets or a lot of VMs, a lot of app services, right? There are plenty of services coming up. So with those services fall either under the infrastructure as a service or PaaS or SaaS. So when you have to use a PaaS or IAS or SaaS, you should clearly understand what are your responsibilities and what's cloud's responsibility. Here is a myth from the various uh, people I understood that, you know, uh, when you are taking the cloud pass, everything will be taken care by the cloud. That's wrong. You can't take it as a granted, especially the security as a granted. You should have your own strategy, how you protect your data on the cloud, though it is a pass or even the SaaS model. SaaS model 100% managed by the cloud, but still, you know, you should have your own way and your own mechanisms to protect that. Okay. Coming to the why cloud security, one is shared security model because not everything is owned by the cloud vendor. You should also take responsibilities on your endpoints, data and other aspects. Uh, various cloud consumption models you are using like PaaS, SaaS, IaaS or hybrid cloud, uh, uh, even the private cloud, public cloud, all this type of methods. So you have to well understand and well balance your security in all these aspects. Internal threats and data leakage. There is a chance that, you know, the internal threats can happen within the same data center by the other guys or, you know, the data leakage can happen. So you should be well protected from all type of atta attacks and you should be well prepared. Okay. So especially uh, which areas I should cover, how secure my application should be. There is no such kind of measurement, but it should cover all kind of areas which I have listed here. If you're creating the users like authentication or authorizations, you should well manage with the identity and the access management, segmentations, vulnerability management, patch management, uh, monitor user activity, password management. These are a few areas I'm giving. I don't want to just read out. Uh, every area ha is a big topic and you should also well protected with all those things. Okay. So moving on, uh, I just want to give you a quick example. If you want to test any security on any system, there's no one tool which addresses all the security uh, testing. You should use plenty of tools even just to test your security of your application. You can check here IBM Security App Scan, Burp Suit, Wireshark. This uh, provides the different areas of the security aspects probably there could be some intersections but you know not every one tool provides uh, all the security my intention for this slide is just to tell you there are plenty of tools required just for security if you see in that angle how much protected you should be and how many tools you may need to enable 
to well protect your systems that's the only intention of this so coming to the shared security model i was always talking about the security models uh, or the, the responsibility models uh, when you go with the uh, cloud especially especially you can see where you have to get involved so customer responsibility is orange box and the gray area is a cloud vendors responsibilities so these are the areas you should cover access management security monitoring patch management if you are using a host you should be able to responsible for all these areas if you are using networks like it could be your vnet or you are using some kind of other network perimeters then uh, these are the things cloud vendor will provide and you should still uh, be responsible for the network threat detection security monitoring when it come it comes to the applications you see there are plenty of areas which you need to cover and which you need to completely cover up okay so this is what i was always talking don't take it as a granted though you are on the pass service you should still well protected while deploying just not at the application level in the application level you might be protecting your data by encrypting decrypting using ssls and various certificates method methods and end-to-end -end encryption all those stuff but how about your deployment right how about your networks so even your application should be well protected with all this uh, stuff so just little more uh, information on that like how you have to cover up with the pass this second box covers that uh, these are not created by me definitely you know these are from the various guys uh, which i just uh, took it so the credit goes to for this both uh, to the particular guys i could not get the information like who prepared but yeah so this is uh, one way of one direction where you can see uh, you have to cover up for the pass model okay you can see application data has to be uh, well protected completely by uh, you and then user endpoints admin access directories so there are few areas need to cover up so this is a, a slide very important slide and you can always use for your quick reference it is designed by the microsoft so i have taken from the microsoft uh, web uh, presentation so you can see microsoft logo also here yeah so this slide is very important i really liked it and you can use it while you are designing your applications so one single slide is covering the various security aspects now let me spend little more time on this one if you see the identity and access you have the various mechanisms here multi-factor authentication and you have ad identity protection leaked uh, credential protection everything is a separate topic you can search it in uh, google or bing then you will find it azure a what is multi-factor authentication under the azure ad similarly you have a conditional access and uh, even it covers the SaaS model it covers the hybrid cloud cloud infrastructure and it also covers security operations at center so every company like at least decent sized enterprise uh, teams should have the security operation centers dedicated uh, which can use this type of tools like microsoft defender azure security center cloud app cloud app security azure sentinel these are all the various tools available on the azure okay so coming to the application level or deployment model you can check the middle box here on premises data centers and you also have the plenty of uh, security features azure policy azure key vault azure web application firewall azure in anti malware uh, anti malware uh, will be used when you are using specially for the vms and uh, kind of stuff okay but at the same time you can also detect from the firewall and uh, application and network uh, security groups backup and site recoveries so you see one slide is covering uh, almost every area including the iot and the operational uh, technology under the iot operations technology you can see iot security maturity model i and there is one new feature from the iot side it's called defender iot defender uh, it's a it's under the preview that is also one important feature where you can you know defend from uh, it's kind of a continuous scanner uh, thing so you can again check or if you are using uh, some kind of ias so how it can be managed uh, in tune uh, system center configuration SCCM, all these are in one slide anytime when you're architecting and you want to address the security aspects this one slide will really help you you can also see here uh, the network level 
और इंट्रूजन प्रोटेक्शन सर्विस इंट्रूजन डिटेक्शन सर्विस एस एल एल प्रॉक्सी एच डी एल पी और नेटवर्क ग्रुप्स फायर वॉल सो इवन द अजूर स्टैक शील्ड देर इज ए अजूर वी एम शील्ड यू कैन चेक वॉट इज दट फीच वॉट इज दट एंड हाउ यू कैन एनेबल सो एवरीथिंग इज ए क्लाउड एस्पेक्ट्स एंड क्लाउड प्रोटेक्शन रिलेटेड फीचर द नेक्स्ट लाइट इज ऑल्सो प्रेटी मच कवर्स ऑलमोस्ट द सेम बट इट्स इन द डिफरेंट वे so you can use uh, these two slides while you are uh, designing your security so you can well understand what are the features under the identity and access management what are the what are under the monitoring application security uh, like ssl tls or active directory or uh, maybe wafs all those things are covered under one slide so when you use this kind of security features there will be significant difference in your security if you don't use all these definitely you will suffer some day um, as a good architect or as a good developer you should understand well understand this and you should well under, uh, address these things i eventually cover all these topics in my upcoming uh, episodes so uh, we can uh, have a look on uh, majority of these features so moving on uh, azure web application firewall which is most important and uh, people really don't care while they are designing the applications it could be your web application or it could be your application gateways or api gateways or if you are building some kind of uh, apis anything in, in terms of the http azure waf is uh, most important thing which you need to enable so i'll cover that in my next episode uh, see you soon